Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get a mini-map and a world map in Minecraft 1.17.1 for Mac. So, let's get right into this. Okay, so to start off, we need to download Fabric, which is the uh, client that you use to run all sorts of mods. So, the website is here, there are links in the description, and what we want to do is click download installer and that oh, see that did that and now if we head to our downloads folder in the finder you should see fabric installer and whatever so we double click on this and it might pop up with the message that says fabric installer cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer so we're gonna click OK Head to our system preferences, security and privacy. And when you're in general, you should see something about the fabric installer at the bottom. And you just click open it anyway. And you message and you click open. Now, when you do this, it should open. And now, if it can't open and it says something like an error message, this will mean that you don't have Java installed on your computer and you need this to run all the mods and stuff. So if you don't, you can click this link up in the top right here and that will take you to another video on just a quick one on how to install Java on your computer. Shouldn't take you long. Okay, so now we do, what we want to do is select the version that we want, which is 1.17.1 and just leave all of these things as they are on client and click install and that will be done. And it'll say it's been successfully installed, so we can click OK and we close this and we can move the installer to bin and now when we load up minecraft you should see a fabric loader or something like that appear now if you don't just make sure that you've refreshed your minecraft so just fully close it down and open up the launcher again and it should pop somewhere but if it doesn't you can head to installations new installation and then when you click on the version here, you should scroll until you find something that says release fabric loader and it'll be exactly this one that I have highlighted here if you have 1.70.1 selected. But we'll just click on that, name it whatever, and click create. Okay, so now we need to run this fabric 1.17.1 first before we can put on any mods uh, because there won't be a mods folder unless we've run it first. So just run it and once it's opened you can just close it again. Okay and now that we've run it once we can head to our finder again and what you want to do is click this go button at the top right. Go to go folder here, click on that and type this as you see it here into the bar and make sure that you have this little uh, Squiggly line, I'm not sure what you call it in, but just type that in and once you do, press go and it will take you to the application support page and then you want to find the Minecraft folder, which I got here and find the mods folder in this, uh, so you see I've got mods here if you don't have a mods folder, which I don't think this should happen, but if you don't you can just create one and just make sure it's called mods like this, no capitals, no space or anything and that'll work so this is where we're going to be putting all of the mods that we have. So there are three mods that we're going to get for this. We want the mini map, the world map, and then we also need the fabric API, which is necessary to just uh, run all the mods. So we can head to the websites here. So for the fabric API, go find 1.17.1 fabric API. Click on that, download. Okay. And it'll just take you here. Three, two, one, downloading, boom. Okay, then we head to the mini map. Scroll to find the one that says fabric or not 17, not the forge one, the fabric one. Like that. And the world map, and once again, fabric. Nice. So now that we've got all those downloaded, you can head to finder and right click and then click new finder window that just pop up a new one select download 
And you should see them all here. So we just drag them and drop them into that box. Now, once we hit to Minecraft again and click play. And once we're in, we should be all set. Now, uh, I've changed some of the keybinds for these mods. So they might be a little bit different to yours. But if we just head to controls, find the ones for the world map and the mini map. And then you can just change around with the settings so that you can sort them how you like. If I want to open my mini map settings, I click the Y button. So once I click Y, there are loads of settings I could turn my mini map on, on and off. And it has a bunch of settings that you can change. So it's great. And I can also open the world map here and zoom out and see all the areas I discovered and this is great because it saves when you turn on and off and I think it looks absolutely fantastic uh, but yeah that's how you get the mini map and the world map on minecraft 1.17.1 now I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and if you want maybe subscribe that would really help out a lot so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye